Hello everyone, welcome to aitechno.com. My name is Sumit and this is my second video in setting up and configure virtual machine player or VMware on the system. So if you have gone through my previous video where I explained how do we download and install virtual machine or VMware player or Windows 11. If you haven't, I will share the link in the description below. Please go through that. So this is in the continuation of that. This is the second video in continuation of the first one. And in today's video, I will be going to demonstrate you. I'll show you that how do we download and set up an operating system on Windows, uh, Windows 11 operating system on our VM. Now there are two steps. Number one, either we can download a fresh installation, a fresh win Windows operating system, Windows 11 ISO file, or else we can download a complete operating system, a ready to use, a ready to use virtual machine with pre pre configured, pre installed OS. So either way is fine. The difference between both of them is if we go with the first option, where we'll be going to download the uh, where we'll be going to download the uh, Windows operating system ISO file. There we have to reinstall everything. We have to reconfigure the operating system. We have to install the operating system from the scratch. And also like the way we used to set up an operating system on our main system, main machine. So that is first way. Second method is we can directly download the, uh, the VMware file, uh, ready, uh, you can say the pre-configured VMware file, and we have to simply open that VMware file in our virtual machine here. So I will be going to show you both the method, how can you do that? So in order to do this, the very first step is we need to, uh, we need to check the file where do we have that file exist with us or not. So as you can see, in my case, I have already downloaded the files with me. So you can see in my, I, I used to have a operating system file. Let me show you. This is my Windows 11 ISO file. And if I'll show you the size of this file is only 5.42 GB. So 5.42 GB, this is just the ISO file, image file. And in order to configured in order to set up this operating system or a new operating system in virtual in a VMware player by using this file, we have to start it from the scratch. So for example, how we are going to begin in that case, uh, I'll then start. I will create a new virtual machine. So I have to start it by creating a new virtual machine. See, create a new virtual machine with which then we added to the top of your library. So I'm going to use this one, create a new virtual machine. And when we click on create a new virtual machine, so what we have to do, we have to specify the disk image file, the one which we downloaded and uh, the one which we downloaded. Now from where you can download, I will share the link in the description uh, from where you can download the Windows 11 ISO file. Uh, pre so I, I downloaded a pre-configured Windows 11 virtual machine. As you can see, we can download a virtual machine and this is a pre-configured operating system. This is a, these are the four type of four virtual machine with pre-configured or pre-installed Windows 11. And uh, in my case, I downloaded the VMware one and the total size, the size is almost 22 to 23 GB. Okay, so if you just look at the file size, so file size will be almost 22 to 23 GB. Let's check it out. So I'll just download here. This is the virtual machine and you can see this is the file I downloaded and let me open the properties. Let me open the properties. So this is a 23 GB file. And what I've done, I expanded this file here. This is my file and I got these two files like Windows, uh, this one. See this, it's a disk image file with pre-installed, pre-configured operating system. So I will be going to use this option. Because using this method, this saves the time. Yes. This switch to my virtual machine, navigate to my virtual machine, and I click on open a virtual machine. And when I click on, see it says open an existing virtual machine, which will then be added to the top of your library. So I click on open a virtual machine. And from here, I'm going to select Windows DV, uh, Windows Dev 2308 EVL. I select this and click on open. So let's see the steps. I just click on open name of a virtual machine. I just set it as Windows 11. 
and the location, you can see the storage path of the new virtual machine, C drive users, submit document, virtual machine and Windows 11. If you want to change the location, you can do that, else we can continue with this. Click on import. So it will begin the import and it will take time to set it up the virtual machine, but it takes less time as compared to this one, where, like we'll, when, where we start, the, where we set up a new virtual machine from the beginning. So we don't have to set up. So what we are doing right now, we will be opening an existing one. So you can see it's importing the Windows 11 file. It takes time. So you can see the process has completed successfully. And now we are getting a Windows 11 operating system added in this VMware Workstation 17. So let me click on this and uh, we can click on play virtual machine. But before this, I just wanted to check one thing. So I click on edit virtual machine setting. So I click on edit virtual machine setting and in processor, we have to uncheck this. Don't forget to uncheck this virtualization engine because if you don't do this, then this virtual machine, uh, VMware will not allow you to start your virtual machine to open your virtual machine. So you, so you have to uncheck that out. And now when you click on play virtual machine, it will start your operating system. See this, so your operating system will start setting up or configure in this. So basically our operating system gets started into this virtual machine. So now we have successfully set up a new operating system in a virtual machine. Uh, without installing from the scratch only by using okay only by using the existing virtual machine iso file for window which are with pre configured windows 11 so let it let it start because it is starting very first time so it will take some time to configure So you can say it's taking time and it's getting ready. It's, it's setting it's uh, setting up our operating system. So now you can see my system is setting up finally. And uh, once it is ready, as you can see, once it, once it will be ready, I will be able to use the operating system in my virtual machine. And the way we the way we used to install the software on our desktop in same manner, we can install the software in this virtual machine also. So that I will be going to show you in the next series of video where I will be going to show where I will be going to demonstrate that how do we set up a SQL server and okay, how do we set up and configure a SQL server studio or SQL server uh, on a virtual machine. So that we'll be going to discuss in our next video. Yeah, so that's the operating system which is installed successfully or which set up config, uh, which set up successfully on my virtual machine. And the way the way we used to work on our operating system on our main system in same manner we can work here. So for example, if I want to access internet or if I like if I want to download uh, any operating system, download and install any operating system in this. Uh, you can see Visual Studio is already installed. So if you want to set up the uh, if you want to set up the SQL Server or any other or any other software on this virtual machine, we can do that. So that we will be going to see in the next upcoming video. That's all in this video. If you like this, don't forget to like, subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. -bye.